Crosby. What does it mean to be Crosby? How does it feel? What is it made of? Let's watch and see what makes a person Crosby. The young man you see before you is Jimmy. Wave hello, Jim. Jimmy, Jimmy is young and, like most of you, wants to have a good time. He knows things are really swinging in downtown Orange County these days. Yes, artists, beatniks, and hipsters all agree. Downtown Orange County is hep. What's hep, you ask? Well, hep is the new cool. You know what cool is, don't you, Jimmy? Why, sure you do. Let's pop into a spot where things are really swinging. Yes, there's a party going on, and we're invited. So get ready. Let's go. Hey, just to me, wait a minute, Jimmy. You're not planning on going like that, are you? Uh, one more thing, Jim. Now that's more like it. Now that you're ready, let's bounce. The essence of Crosby lies behind this door. Let's all go inside and take a closer look. Our time here is coming to an end. Say goodbye, Jimmy. And to the rest of you, thanks for watching. Be sure to remember that when you're Crosby, you'll feel better about yourself. And what's most important, everyone will like you more. So be like Jimmy. Be Crosby. The Crosby's located at 400 North Broadway in the corner of 4th in Santa Ana. My name is Chris. Uh, my name is Mark Amoka. Um, some, some of you may know me as Free the Robots. I'm Phil Nisko. Beach, but I uh, grew up in Found Valley area. That's where I met Phil. I lived in Connecticut for a little bit, but lived in Santa Ana for the last couple of years. And just been doing this all day, every day. Crosby, it's my life.
vision of this, uh, the whole Crosby came from pretty much all of us artists kind of just came together. We wanted to put everything into one, fashion, music, and design, and all that stuff. There's so many people that we wanted to include. It's kind of just more like a creative venue that we wanted to bring everything we're into into one spot. We'd be going to LA like five times a week about like just, we'd be going a lot, yeah. just every night. And, and we'd go there and it seemed like 50% of the people out there were people that we knew that lived around us in Orange County. You know, you don't have to go far. I mean, there's so many creative people around this area and just Orange, Orange County like as a whole that needs somewhere to go, needs somewhere to build, needs somewhere to like gain inspiration. And uh, we kind of wanted to be that place. And it started off simple, like it, before we didn't have any of the alcohol, the food, just started building and building. We just came up with more concepts. Just that for a while we were thinking of like some type of independent theater where we could show like skate films and, and also show like movies, new, old. And then it just kept building. We wanted to include alcohol and then to get alcohol we got food. We, we've known Aaron for a while, like just happened to fall into place. Everything, every time we came up with a new concept, we just like said, what, let's try this and then like, the chef was right there and he just had all these amazing dishes that he created for us and just, everything just happened. My name is Aaron Haviger. I'm the head executive chef at the Crosby restaurant. Here, the atmosphere, the music, the food, we try to make it all function on one level, you know what I mean? We all like good food. It's definitely the presentation, the food has to be there, I mean, at every level. People, you know, eat with their eyes first. They see things, they uh, smell things first before they even taste it. And the food should come out looking great. We always keep the plates looking fresh, you know what I mean? Every time we change it up, I hope that people can come back here and we'll have something different on the menu every time. vibe just an ego free just atmosphere where uh, people can enjoy new stuff there's not really one thing that's pushing us it's kind of like whatever we come up with and just build off each other and then see if we can make it happen our staff is amazing like without them we wouldn't be here today they work so hard and inspirational wise too like they're all into the music and everything whenever they're here they're spinning or whatever it's like really inspirational I haven't felt like this has worked yet. It's just coming in, hanging out, talking amongst friends, and that's the best way work should be. You should actually love what you do. Love what you do, you don't work a day of your life. We wanted to maintain and you work together, kind of build something new for an area that, you know, could see new things, you know? This is just the core of what we're starting. We want people to come out to Santa Ana and experience everything as a whole.